this is a spectacular endgame puzzle. We are down a queen in this position, but you have an unbelievable winning sequence. Black is attacking our knight, but his king actually has no moves. So this is the secret to winning this game. The first move is to play bishop d2 check. Now, Black's not checkmated yet because he can jettison a pawn by playing b4. Now we follow it up with bishop takes b4 check and king b5. It seems like Black's king is safe for now, but it's a cool idea here that puts Black in a zook swan. So first, white plays knight d6 check. Saving the knight, Black has to go to king b6, and now he thinks he's safe because he's gonna run into freedom. But can you see the unbelievable move here for white? It is a sacrifice, the bishop, like this. The point is that if black takes with the queen attraction, they're in position for a fork. Knight c4, and this is a winning position for white. So black takes with the king instead and asks what white's point is. Now, white plays knight c4 check, preventing the king's escape down this path. Black plays king b5. Seemingly okay, right? But if you notice here, black's king has zero moves. Black's queen actually has zero moves too. If he goes here, it's a fork. And if he goes here, there's a fork. Only the pawns can move. So we don't want to mess up our position here. What move can white play here that wins the game? You have to be really precise. The move is king f4. Now black is in the zook song, almost. Black tries to break free by playing c5, trying to go here or here, right? But we have a counter, it's d5. Now black tries one more time to play f5, running to h6, but this is why we had played king f4. We saw black's best defense. We prevent it by playing king g5. All the squares are covered. Now black is not quite in the zigzag, he plays f4, but we have one more move. We don't want to change anything with the knight or the king. We play f3, and that is it for black. He has no good moves left. And he plays queen b7, play knight d6, and win the game.